So hopefully this is the last time. <laughs>Hey guys, Jules here. It is Thanksgiving Day and we've already went and had our Thanksgiving dinner and now Johnny is looking at Ruth. He's up there and he is gonna sure up some spots that we think might be leaking before the rain tomorrow and before we put our subfloors in tomorrow. Love my little house, even though it's not quite a house yet. Just take this down. For He's taking my chair down. Uh, <laughs> Just lay it on the shot. Will it hurt anything? On the... Stick it right here for right That's now. fine. Don't matter. Then. Then he's gonna go up the hatch. The flat. That flat plate that I had over there. Oh, we need to find it, don't we? I'm sitting here in the chair, in my chair. Johnny sealed that hatch for the time being, but we are eventually going to replace the hatch with a max fan or max air fan. But in order for there not to be water on our new subfloors, he had to go ahead and seal it temporarily so no water gets in. So I'm sitting here in my hammock chair and I'm watching him seal the window. So last time it rained, or the time before last, number three leaked, number seven leaked, and then the two back ones leaked. But this last time it rained, number three seemed to be fixed. So now he's Working on number seven and the two back windows back there. Now we won't know about these other side, the other side of the windows because of the way we're sitting unlevel. So we're gonna have to do a test on these ourselves probably, which we probably need to do before we put our floor in. So apparently Johnny said that we probably won't do the subfloors tomorrow in the rain. Um, we'll probably do them Saturday, so that'll give us a good chance to test everything for water before we actually put those subfloors, the plywood and the foam board in. So, but I'm going to sit here for a few minutes. Haven't been in the bus in a few days. Had the grandkids yesterday and part of today. When had Thanksgiving dinner. And so now we're working on, or he's working on, sealing. And I'm sitting here because only one person can really do that. And plus I do all the scouting work. I go out and get the materials, do the research, and then he does the work for the most part. So that's the way we, that's the way we do it. Oh, and the grandkids, Lizzie and Elijah, love this chair a little too much. Um, <laughs> it is kind of a fun little, little spot. Neat little thing, so. Anyway, hope you guys have had a very happy Thanksgiving. Um, hopefully, we will have these windows fixed, leak-free. We'll find out tomorrow. So, we might hop back on here before I edit and upload this video and um, just give you guys an update. And then the next video will probably be the sub four video. And I apologize for the graininess of this video. It's getting very dark quick. It gets dark here at five something PM. So um, I'm working with very little light, but. Uh... All right, it is the next morning and I'm checking for water leaks because it's been raining out here all night. I sealed these windows on this right side of the bus and uh, looks like it's not leaking.
looks like it's not leaking. Oh, I got just a little bit right there. I got a little bit still right here between these two windows. So between these two back windows, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. But we'll figure something out. It's just a little bit. So. Oh well. Good evening. I'm gonna show you what I decided to do. These two windows right here are still leaking. Between 21 and 23 there. <laughs> Still got the school numbers on there. I didn't take these off. Uh, decided, kind of decided to leave them on, you know, because I don't know. Just trying an easy way out, but that don't seem to be working. So this right here is leaking. There's rust right there at the floor base, the base right there. I guess you can see it, but it's leaking water in. And I've done, took those out, resealed them. Reseal them again, reseal them again. They're still leaking. So I'm going to take this uh, steel off, see what I can do as far as finding where they're leaking from. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Come along with me and watch me work. One other thing, I've got to cut the uh, screws off because I can't get any of them out. I can't get them out with the, sc the screwdriver. I can't get them out with an impact drill. Those Phillips heads are hard to get out. So I'm just gonna grind them off. It's just plain and simple. I got to, I guess. <laughs> took the panel partly off but it wouldn't come all the way off because obviously those things are not coming off i don't know how people take those panels right there off but those things are he double l <laughs> we're not doing it <laughs> he and double l's double l's double l's yeah we're not doing it um so he's putting it back on he found where he thinks the leak might be coming in and he had to take the window out. So anyway, he's he's going to put it back on. And then we're going to reseal the window and put it back in. Um, and try to put some extra sealant and caulk in the corners. Because he thinks that's where it's coming. Uh, the water's coming in at. So. I really have to go over that with something good. Because mm -hmm. it's poking down. Wall is going to cover all that. We're going to put some insulation over it, a little thin. Probably put a, some foam board, and then then we will put the walls over that. Okay, so he put the window back in, put the panel back on best we can for now, and he's caulking, resealing the outside since it's not raining anymore. And um, yeah, so. Hopefully this is the last time. <laughs> on this side. On this side. We haven't tested the other side yet. Completely. Completely, yeah. But we may have to do that after the subfloor is already in because um, we need to go ahead and get these floors done. So anyway, so there we go. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully we resolve the issue. I don't know. These buses are just prone to leaking. So anyway, if you're still breathing. There is still. There's still hope. Don't forget it. See you on the next one.